Hey everyone, Max a few trades here and welcome back to more Let's Play My Little Investigations. In the last part, I came down to Town Square and I found Apple Bloom, and she seemed rather suspicious, so I interrogated her, and it actually went rather well considering I'm at the helm, and I found out that she very well might possibly be connected with all of this in some way somehow. I also met this horse. I don't know if she's relevant. We shall find out at a later time, as we must continue to talk to Apple Bloom and see what she knows. All right, Apple Bloom. Please tell me everything you know about what happened last night. I imagine that's not a lot, but anything is better than nothing. Uh, can you? Oh, no, just a bit. I went through all that for nothing. And why not? Because I can. Why? <sighs> Apple Bloom, I think I know why you're not talking. Oh, is that so? Oh, wait, actually, you know what? I think I do, too. You are hiding information because it relates to Scootaloo. How's this? You are trying to protect Scootaloo, aren't you? Zing, I zang, boom! I all day, and Rarity said some things about you three that seemed awfully suspicious. Mostly in concerning ghosts. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you got it, twat. Apple Bloom, listen to me. I know your heart is in the right place, but this isn't the right way to protect Scootaloo. Honestly, I can't fault Apple Bloom. That's actually a very, uh... That's a very realistic portrayal of somebody trying to withhold information for the purposes of protecting someone. But at the same time, Scootaloo didn't take the gem. Just tell me what you know and I can protect her. There's an investigative team coming in from Canterlot to handle this case. It's very, very important that I have this case closed before they get here. Uh, you don't mean they have investigation team, do ya? Wow, if Apple Bloom knows about it, they must be colossal screw-ups. I'm afraid I do. Oh, wow. Okay, I get it. I get it, Twy. No more hiding. Promise. Okay. I, I wasn't being truthful, cause, well, I was awfully worried about Scootaloo. Ah, uh, is that the case? See, last night, we were rehearsing a comedy routine that we had planned to put on for Rarity's birthday, which is coming up pretty soon. We've been doing that for quite a while now. Oh, great! Comedy, of course! Great! Wow. The skepticism is just dripping from that sentence. Well, yeah! This will learn all cutie marks for sure! Getting off topic! But you can't tell any pony about this, Twy! This is super duper top secret! It won't work if it's not a surprise! Okay! Um, sure. You can trust me. Well, that's the se <laughs> that's the inflection of a woman you just can't trust. Cross my heart and hope to fly. Stick a cupcake in my eye. References! Uh, any yes? Yes, it is. Um, yes. In a roundabout way of speaking, yes, that is what a yes Well, all right, then. Anyway, we were practicing the town square last night, like always, and things are going pretty well. We took a break, during which time me and Sweetie Belle hung out by the bridge. But I don't know where Scootaloo was at that time, or what she was up to. Is that so? A short while after that, we heard a sudden loud crash coming from the carriage over the deep. We didn't know what in tarnation was happening now, so we just watched for a bit to see what was going on. That's the intelligent way to think, go about it? Yeah, okay. And a while after that, some pony ran across the bridge real fast. We didn't get a good look at it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was Scootaloo. Right? It had to be Scootaloo. Look at that hair. No one has hair like her. What? Of course it's not right. I'm afraid it is, Twy. I, I didn't know what was going on, but since it seemed like Scootaloo was in trouble, we all figured, well, better not say anything about it. Hmm. I'm awful sorry I lied to you, Twy. At least it was a lie to help somebody, I guess. It's fine. Really. You did the right thing in telling me all this. It's true. It's been a big help. Scootaloo's not a thief, Twy. You gotta believe me. You gotta help her. You ain't gotta tell me twice. Hell, even if she did do it, I'd defend her. I promise on my honor as an investigator that I will clear Scootaloo's name and get to the bottom of this. Yes, your honor as an investigator, which you have been for maybe, I don't know, 59 minutes at most. That's that's really a prestigious thing you're willing to hold up in court. All right, fine. Is that something that's valuable? Yeah, okay, see, Apple Bloom knows where I'm getting at. <sighs> Let's just say that, yes, I promise. Okay. 
And there we go. Testimony. We've got it on scroll. Written with quill. You know, there's an interesting conundrum. Ponyville. They have clocks, which means they have technology, which means they have electricity. But they don't have pens. They still have to use quills and ink wells. That's just weird. But Scootaloo's been updated yet again. Okay, that's going to be problematic. Do not worry, Scoots. You will not be going to Pony Prison today. Now, now I, know I know that Verity's hiding, hiding something from me. I'd better pay her another visit. Of course. As much as I really honestly, not even joking, really want to talk to Steampunk Ella over here. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll, we'll stick to the main road. We don't want to get too sidetracked. We're already spending far more time, you know, getting stuck on basic, you know, quizzes than we really should be. <laughs> it's best not to get distracted with the peripheral characters. Although, I guess I'll just really, really hope that that's somebody important, because I want to talk to them. My goodness. That is so original character, I can't even handle it. Alright, sup, Rarity. Let's see, what was stolen last night? Do I even really have anything? I guess I must, otherwise the game wouldn't tell me to come here. Rarity. I think we should start with what happened last night. Of course, darling. What would you like to know? Could you describe exactly what happened and what you saw? Didn't we all go through this? Well... Yeah, okay, so we have to wait until we get to the point where she's hiding hmm. something. Um, okay, yep, yep, no, yep, 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 you know. Nothing. Fast forward! Oh, wait, what? Okay, hang on, present evidence. I need to present evidence. Um... God, I don't know, Apple Bloom's testimony? Why, thank you, darling. But I'm afraid that I haven't a clue what I'd use it for. Terribly sorry, but I simply cannot accept this gift. It's a testimony. How's that a gift? I wasn't giving it to you. Okay, well, whatever that. I guess that wasn't it. Um, profiles, just Scootaloo in general. Rarity, I hate to say it, but I don't think you're telling me the whole truth here. Not intentionally, mind you. you. You'd never withhold things. I mean, we're very good friends. I'm not trying to, you know dispel any negativity upon you. Why, darling, whatever do you mean? I dare say I resent your accusation, my dear. Honestly, I would too. All right, then. Let's look at this a different way. How quickly did you come downstairs after you thought something was wrong? Well, if we're talking about me specifically, if I heard something like a window breaking downstairs in my house, I would hide in the corner of my room with a blanket over my head holding a baseball bat, hoping that they didn't come up here. I'm not exactly what you'd call a defender, as much as I'd like to think I am. Immediately, of course, but I don't see what relevance that has to anything. It shows you have great bravery and tenacity, and I admire that greatly. I don't have all the answers here, but neither does Rarity. Maybe I can get her to talk, if I make it seem like I know more than I really do. Is that an actual viable method for investigating? Because that just sounds like you're winging it. Rarity. She witnessed Scootaloo crashing through your window last night. I also learned that Scootaloo stayed for roughly a minute before leaving the boutique. Which is a falsehood. Okay, I see where you're getting from. Now, if you came downstairs immediately after hearing the crash, don't you think you might have seen something? I guess, but at the same time, we don't know how long Scootaloo was around. Uh, I mean, that is... Uh, I suppose you do have a point. Oh, that worked? Celestia, it worked. That really shouldn't have worked. Okay, well, awesome. Tell me what's up. You are correct, Twilight. I did see Scootaloo last night. Oh, dang! I did not know what to make of it, and then to protect her. I do apologize for not being forthright about it. Oh, dang. Everyone's in on it. Okay. I understand, Rarity. But if that investigation team from Canterlot comes here and finds any of that out... What do you think their conclusion is going to be? That Scootaloo is working with the ghosts, and they're smuggling eggs to Ecuador. Of course. You do have a point, I must say. Honestly, there is no better protector from the unknown than the truth. So, I suggest you tell me everything you know so that I can actually protect Scootaloo much better than you ever possibly could by withholding information. Just saying. All right, time to get to the bottom of this. All right, let's do it. And what was stolen? Again. Wait, are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's do this. Could you describe everything that was stolen last night? Of course. First there was True Blue, a regular hunk of a sapphire that shone in the light like a noonday sky. 
Oh, whatever shall I do without the light of that jewel in my workshop? This is actually information I should have asked her when I first started the game, and I guess I just never clicked on it. Whoopsie! Second, that was Opal. My darling, darling Opal. She's been missing since last night, too. Now with the jewel, I can understand, but what could the thieves possibly want with Opal? It greatly troubles me to think of what might have happened to her. You know, it's really sad to think, but I'm actually a victim of catnapping, and I never saw my cat ever again. It was really sad. Some people just are terrible, terrible people, if we're being honest. I'm, I'm really sorry to have to just say that, but sometimes there just aren't good people in the world. It's very sad. You must find them both, Twilight. Promise me. You must. You must! Of course I will. Stop with the assumed shaking. I'll do my best, Rarity. I promise. Not, Not just a giant, giant sapphire, but her cat, cat too? What an equestria could that, that be about? I don't know. Is it a purebred? Sell it on the black market? I don't know. I don't know how deep the rabbit hole goes in Ponyville. Things can be either extraordinarily dark or as lighthearted as humanly possible. Or ponily possible, I guess, is the term would be. Either way, okay, we got the cat in the, we got the cat in the bag. Anyway, last night, interrogation, what we were supposed to be doing in the first place. All right, Rarity. Please tell me everything you know about what you saw last night. I can't help if I don't have all the details. All right, Brain, come on, let's do this. Analyze time. Of course, Twilight. I shall do my best. I finished my work for yesterday earlier than expected, so I had wanted to get my beauty suit. I have been somewhat deprived, given that a certain client had made several last-minute orders. Okay, okay, don't see anything wrong with that. Crud, I didn't do it right again. I finally fall into a blissful, restful sleep when, all of a sudden, I awoke to the sound of a loud crash coming from the first floor. Very light sleeper, I see. Okay, okay, don't see any reason to press. Well, I was just scared out of my wits at that moment, so I made great haste downstairs to see what in Celestia's name was going on. Well, if you were scared, why would you immediately run back down? I mean, granted, you do love your cat, and I appreciate that much, but... I mean, if you were terrified out of your wits, and you don't have any particular person on the down floor to protect for any reason... I would suggest you probably hang upstairs and just sort of wait and hope they left, honestly. I mean, I don't know if that's the cowardly way to go about it, but that seems a little odd. Just a minute. If there were potentially dangerous thieves in your home, why would you have gone downstairs so quickly? Yeah, yeah. Aren't you worried for your safety? You'd think. I suppose that I did not even consider the possibility that I might have been in danger, now that you mention it. But really, Twilight, that's rather beside the point, is it not? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. What I found there was <laughs> awful, terrible, horrible! The first floor of my boutique, ransacked, ruined, torn apart! Oh, what is a man to do? Okay, that's just being pointlessly dramatic for the situation. Adorable, but nonetheless not very useful. Worse still, True Blue, my prized jewel, was gone! Snatched from my very home! And worst of all, the very first thing I saw when I arrived was an orange and purple pony darting out my door! That pretty much is Scootaloo, yeah, okay. I... I cannot explain what I saw any other way than to say that a Scootaloo purposely broke into my boutique to steal True Blue. What other explanation could there be? Okay, now that, now that, 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 okay, my brain, my gears, my brain gears are a rockin' and a rollin' and a churnin' and a chivin'. All right, present evidence. We've got the white hair and the swervel of the burvel of the tracks. Scootaloo, on a scooter, tried to get for your cat, and she scooted, and then she flew through the window by accident. That's where I'm going with this. This better work. Hmm. Rarity, what you said contradicts this bit of evidence. Um... No, I don't believe it does, Twilight. I apparently did not use it appropriately. Oh, uh, <laughs> my mistake. Fantastic. I almost was intelligent for a second there. Okay, is that all there is to it? Okay, fine. fine. Press for info. Press for info. Is that, is that really the only interpretation there is for what happened? No, there are other options. Come on, she's Scootaloo. Why would she steal a gem? She's not all about the money. She's all about the fame. I mean, seriously, I don't know, she's, she's just spunky. She's just a rambunctious little child who's awesome. She wouldn't steal. I'm afraid I can't think of any other Twilight. 
I do truly apologize. You really don't think... I mean, you can't possibly think of any way an accident-prone Pegasus with notable lack of flying ability could ever possibly crash through your window? I mean, I could think of a couple. Surely you can see why I kept this from you, Twilight. This isn't Scootaloo at all. Yet, there she was. Okay, well, that much is true. Alright, okay, so you don't think she did it, but... Yeah, alright. I know this can't be right. It just can't. Is there anything wrong with what she's saying? Yes, yes, the, the, the tire tracks I'm and whatnot. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this, I got this. I, I got the pieces, I just gotta figure out where they fit. Okay, I finally found the blah, 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 crash to a sleep. With the crash, the crash, the crash, the crash, the crash. Yes, okay, press your info. Go right there, what's what up with that? What kind of crash are we talking about, exactly? Well, the kind of crash that involves broken glass. Uh, I'm going in circles. <laughs> that a window makes when it gets broken. Honestly, Twilight, I dare say I needn't spell this one out for you. Yeah, yeah, okay, that one was my bad. Uh-huh, right, right. So, what did you do when you heard this crash? I am really bad at this. Okay, fine, 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 fine. We got this, though. We got this, though. It's somewhere. It's in this, it's in the thing. You don't make your hiss, do all that stuff. Did, what, what would you do? I don't think any information is going to come out of this, but I'm desperate here. <laughs> Work with me, brain. You seem pretty upset. I'm sorry. Of course I'm upset! All that time put into organization and sorting and everything like that. Ruin! Just ruin! Yep, you are a very orderly pony with your organized chaos and whatnot. Now I'm going to have to put all that work into sorting the first floor all over again. That's what has her upset? Well, that among other things. I'm obsessive about organization, but the sheesh. She's a very dramatic pony, you know this! Okay, fine, fine, fine. You saw an orange and purple pony darting out of the floors, and that's all well and good. Okay, just keep on pressing for info Randy, until I can figure this, is this out. This incredibly important. Please tell me exactly what it was you saw here. Was there any chance, any at all, that what you saw wasn't Scootaloo? Well, I... I'm afraid that it all went by so fast that I didn't get a very good look. I had to turn on the lights before I could see anything at all. And by that time, it had very nearly left. Okay. All I can say is that it was definitely something moving. And that I clearly saw the colors orange and purple. And, oddly enough, Scootaloo is the only pony in town with that color scheme. You think it would have been somebody else with that with you know those two colors somewhere in their repertoire, but apparently not. She is a bit of a snowflake that way. But what about her cape? You didn't see that at all? Oh dang, yeah, her cape! All I saw was her backside. Which was covered by the cape! Okay, I guess that's true. I don't know, Twilight. If that does not describe Scootaloo, then who would it describe? Because there's a stop with your your genuine arguments and with evidence and facts. Shut up, I'm thinking. Is she really the only pony who fits that description? <laughs> think, think, Twilight, think. think. My brain is full of stupid! And if that was Scootaloo that I saw, then, well, eh. I... I cannot... Okay, okay, there's something... I mean, present evidence, like... Okay, but I'm next to a pair of tire tracks. Right, so it's part of that, so attaching it to something else, it works. Is there anyone else in here that fits that vague description? Not in my evidence. Okay, but at the same time, the game brought me here for a very specific reason. There's obviously something I can complete here, and this is generally all that's over here that's left to be done. So, the evidence that I have works, and the situation is right. So I'm left with absolutely no alternative. I can't believe I'm gonna have to do this. Present evidence. Let's just present these tire tracks to every single conceivable thing until I can figure it out. Fast forward. Didn't work there. Keep going. The tired and true method of try everything on everything. I'll figure it out, and if it doesn't work, then I guess... At the very least, I figured out that whatever my, you know, whatever my assumption and belief is, was completely and totally pointless, and I can just move on with my Man. life. So come on, come on. Keep on presenting that hair and tire tracks. It's gotta work Man. somewhere. If not, I'm completely at a loss here. She's still humming! Come on, I know! I know that I'm on to something here, come on! Over the wall of all that is goose stomp. I really got nothing here? At all? Okay, let's see, apple blooms. A torn piece was found outside the uh, fixed by rarity this morning. Okay. Golden object, that's not useless. Okay, wait, okay, Apple Bloom's testimony. 
Anyway, we were practicing in the town square like I was just screaming under the bridge. But I don't know. She doesn't know where Sweetie uh, Scootaloo went. Ugh. Ugh. This is why I'm not a detective. I'm bad at this. Okay, 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 okay. I had fun. I'll figure this out. I finished a member of the drive. Gives a certain client. Okay, press for info. What's all this about? Which certain client was this? Is it a reference, perhaps? Who else but Sapphire Shores? Reference! You such good business. But I don't want to gossip, of course, but my goodness, does that man love Jules Twilight? Tis true! Although, I suppose her request was what got me searching for gems, which was what caused me to find True Blue in the first place. It wasn't so bad, all things told. Okay, you know what, Ashley? I think that's useful information. Well... As soon as I get two blue back, that is. Yeah. Intent? No, oh, shush! I'm working as hard as I can! <laughs> right, so anyway, you had just gone to sleep? I had fun! Okay, so oh, this is such. Okay, present evidence. No, because I used that, but. How am I so bad at this? I don't understand. Like, there's only so many. Okay. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. You gotta, you gotta apply the right evidence to the right thing. The only thing I know for certain is that apparently the tire tracks mean absolutely nothing to nobody. Okay, fine, fair enough. Okay, she doesn't know what was going on. Torn apart. Yes, 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 indeed. Or still, it was gone. An orange and purple pony. Like, I, do I just present Scootaloo's face? Cause that, that's completely <laughs> absurd and stupid. Yeah. Okay, that did nothing. That was nothing. What other explanation could there possibly be? I mean, Scootaloo was a scoot. Okay, hang on. Maybe, maybe the testimony does go here. Nope, definitely doesn't. Okay, fantastic. I. I know this. Oh my god. It just can't. Is there anything wrong with what she's saying? Okay. Is there anything else I'm missing here? Okay. Wait. Wait a second. 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 Oh, snap, crackle, pop, rice, crispies. I know what I'm doing wrong. Evidence. Hair. Combined with. Kitty cat. All right, let's think about this logically here. Hair this color and this length is pretty rare, as far as Equestria goes. Indeed, there indeed. There aren't any ponies that it could have come from. It's true, that is also a fact. In fact, the only creature that I can think of that it could have come from is Opalescence. Indeed. And that would mean that whoever was here swerved and crashed into the window because Opalescence was in his or her path. That would make sense. And that would all come together to mean that this broken window likely was an accident. Which is new information in the context of this video game, which means that now is a much fresher and useful piece of evidence that I can use that will tell Rarity that there is another option. There is another possibility on how this happened. Although I do have to wonder how a scooter led tire treads, but whatever, that's besides the point. I'm getting things right. It feels like there's more to this than just that. But... It's a start, at least. Indeed! We got enough! We have enough to work with here. Alright, okay, okay. Now, now we go to we go to Rarity, we go to the interrogation, right. of course, we fast forward to get to the point where we are. Okay, she can't, and then I gotta find the piece of thing where she has no idea what else it could be. Present evidence. This! Wait, <laughs> got it! I know that this is going to sound entirely irrelevant, but I think I have a lead on what might have happened to Opalescence. I at feel least, smart. If not True Blue. All right, cool, awesome, let's do this. Oh, do tell, darling. Although I do admit that I must agree in that I can't see how this is relevant to what we're discussing here. It's all relevant. It's anything but unirrelevant. I found some white hair right near the tracks outside the window. And it's and much too long to be yours. And color, I don't think there's anyone else they could have come from other than opalescence. Yeah. As a result, I think we can reasonably conclude that if those tire marks are from Scootaloo, then it's entirely likely that she crashed through your window completely by accident, not Yeah, yeah, yeah! Completely. Okay, yes, this makes perfect sense in her character. She was probably trying to avoid crashing into Opal, which may well have spooked Opal into running away. Yes! Really? But then, that makes things all the more peculiar. Because it does. Because still the fact that she must have stolen True Blue, no? What? Why would she have done that? She just smashed through a window. She's probably more s disoriented and scared about the fact that she just busted through a house. Let me ask a very important question before answering that. Is there any other way in or out of the boutique? Do you lock your door each night? Do you think Opal might have... Oh, the, the, do I think her pet cat stole the gem? 
Oh my goodness, wouldn't that be a plot twist? Oh, I am half tempted to say that just for the just for the lulls of it all. But no, um, okay. Do, do you lock your? Wait. Yeah, that actually works. Do you, do you? By any chance, keep your door locked when you go to sleep at night? It would be the sensible thing to do, but at the same time, you know, you're you were busy and everything and distracted. Why? Yes, of course I do. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. Neither do I. I'm spitballing. I'm really hoping Twilight picks up the slack here. One follow-up question, then. Do you also bring an opal from outside when you go to bed? Of course. The poor dear, I couldn't leave her to fend for herself at night. Well, then what was she doing outside? Then I think we've established something even more important than the accidental break-in. Somebody went in and opened the door, letting your cat out before Scootaloo even showed up. Twilight, I must ask that you be more direct, as I am not following one word you're saying. Let's, let's roll with it! Be the smarty pants you are, Twilight! Alright, let's think about the facts of the case thus far. Let's do that! We know that you heard a crash and came downstairs to see Scootaloo quickly leaving your boutique. Mm -hmm. We can reasonably conclude that she probably was responsible for the broken window. More than most likely. However... We also know that the broken window was likely an accident, and that she had veered off course with her scooter because she was avoiding Opal. Yes! Who was immediately in front of her path. Okay! You just told me, though, that you bring an Opal and lock your door at night. So that raises perhaps the most interesting question of all here. What was she doing outside? Namely, what was Opal doing outside in the first place? Oh my god, maybe she did steal the diamond! But she would have gotten out when Scootaloo opened the door, would she not? But she didn't open the door, she crashed through the window! That's not possible. Think about it. When was it that she veered to avoid Opal? To uh -huh. Before she crashed through the window. Ah! There you go! It hit you like a ton of bricks! I trust you're beginning to see my point. Hell yeah! If indeed your door had been locked and had remained that way until Scootaloo left... There would have been no way Opal would have been outside in the first place. It all comes together. But that would mean that some pony else was in my boutique as well? More than most likely. Exactly. I think we can reasonably conclude at this point that there at least is the possibility that someone else had entered your boutique before Scootalo. At the very least. And that they're the ones who opened the door so that Opal could get out. Ooh, I'm liking this! The question now, though, is who that would be. And that's just what I'm going to find out. Yeah! Alright, let's say Scootaloo, one of the... However, could not have been the culprit. Someone else had to have entered before her. Either that, or she, I guess, opened it up and then decided to swerve and crash into the window. Which, admittedly, would give her a solid alibi, all things considered, at least comparatively. So that's, if she is in fact the culprit, and I know for a fact she isn't, she's Scootaloo, she's far too cute and innocent to do anything of the sort, if she was, she is all, she has the makings of a very, very good criminal. Well, <clears throat> good luck with that. <sighs> Are you still doubting me after all this, Rarity? Well, that's just cold. Well, it's just hard to see you as a detective. Yo, yeah, oh, you know what, okay, sure, you know what, not... Yeah, I mean, you probably need a hat and a pipe. Tell me, who was right about Nightmare Moon? You, darling, but... And who solved the mystery of the... Mm? Indeed. You again, but I really... And who recognized that Princess Cadence had been replaced by a fake? Well, that was, that was partly jealousy. You can't completely take the credit on that one. Once again, you, but you see... So, <clears throat> why does nobody ever listen to me? Because we're all a little bit insane. It just comes with being quirky cartoon characters. Stop yelling. Well, I suppose it's that eventually you must be due for getting something wrong. But um, bum Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose. <sighs> I, could I could explain the many reasons that argument doesn't, doesn't hold any water, water but, but by the time, time I even got, got to Bray's theorem... theorem I don't even know what that is. The Canterlot investigative team would have gotten here and convicted Fluttershy of something like running an illegal bear fighting club. Are we sure Fluttershy isn't running an illegal bear fighting club? Because that would be amazing! I want in on that! Probably best to drop the subject now, while I have the chance. Okay. Uh, sure. That, uh, makes sense, I guess. 
Anyways, I'd best be off. More investigating and such like. Mm. Thanks for the help, Rarity. Anytime, my dear. Where do I go from here, though? Not a clue! It's like I've talked to just about every pony. Other than Scootaloo, of course. You've talked to just about every pony. You've talked to Rarity and Apple Bloom! I'm pretty sure that's not even 1% of the overall population, but okay. Wait, Scootaloo. Scootaloo, that's it! I haven't talked to all the cutie mark crusaders yet. And if Apple Bloom is involved, then the others probably are as well. Well, yeah, we've established that. She was talking to Sweetie Belle before we saw her, and we know Scootaloo's at least crashed through the window, so it's possible she saw something while she was in there. Now, if I recall correctly, I can get to their clubhouse via the western exit of the town square. Well, there That's you go. The shot, at any rate. I mean, if there was anywhere she was going to be hiding, that would be the most obvious place to be, so of course that's where she is. Alright. Awesome! Freaking possum! I feel slightly more intelligent than I did prior. I am digging that! Okay, alright, so, we've figured some stuff out. We've, we've, we've managed to figure out that Scootaloo, there's at least a possibility that she didn't do it. We know she didn't, but at least in the court of law, we have reason to suspect doubt. And, I mean, that's something at the very least. That's usually enough for, for, for Phoenix, right, to get things done. Huh? Also, apparently Where's cutscene. Apple Bloom? I guess she had to head out or something. That's also suspicious. Hey, Twyla, what's up? Oh my god, best pony! Yeah. Don't startle me like that, Rainbow Dash! Startle nothing! She walked up leisurely! <laughs> sorry, sorry. So what you up to, Twilight? You're looking all... <laughs> Concentrating and stuff. <laughs> Haven't you heard? Verity's prize jewel was stolen last night. And I'm investigating. Do you want to help? Please say you'll help. <sighs> Come on, Twilight. Are you sure she didn't just misplace it? And then search high, and then search low, and high and low. Rainbow Dash, this is serious. Her window is broken in the middle of the night, and the mayor has enlisted the help of a certain investigative team from Canterlot to handle this case. Did you say the investigation team from Canterlot? You didn't mean the one that tried to drag Derpy on charges of Grand Theft Muffin. <laughs> I don't even want to know. That's the one. <sighs> you gotta do something, Twilight. They're gonna ruin everything. Again! It's true. Most likely, if the stories are true. I know, Rainbow Dash, I know. But, say, while you're here, I could ask you some questions. Me? But I don't... She didn't do it, Twilight. I swear to God, if you accuse her. It's for rarity, Rainbow Dash. Ugh, fine. Whatever. Do we get a moment of respite here? Come on, tell me. Uh... Yes! Moment of respite! Okay! Alright, alright, alright. We got a whole bunch of stuff done today, and that's all well and good and awesome, but in the next part, ooh, the next part, we get to talk to Rainbow! <laughs> it's awesome! Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I am so recording this immediately. Alright, uh, hope you had fun, hope you show up next time. See you then!